Hey guys, what's up? Yakmax, we're back. These few days we spent some time carp fishing at Lake Alatuna. Justin will go into specifics of what we use to catch carp in a few minutes, but before that, I wanted to thank you all for your support and watching all of our videos. If you do enjoy this video, please send to a few friends or family members that might also enjoy. The weather was completely unpredictable the second day, so please excuse the bad wind. There's a massive fish at the end of this video, so stay tuned and enjoy. Dude, that's a big carp. See you later, buddy. I just released this one. He's still there. I have another carp on. This one's got a lot of spunk. I'm a little afraid to really tighten out on them because this is lighter line. This is my light setup. Oh, just like that. There we go, one more. I'm almost done. Just lost another rig. That's a smaller one. It's got a lot of spunk. Give him that. On this bass setup, dude, I catch a little largemouth on this thing. Ah, oh, he's gone. I'm gonna explain to you just a little bit about what I'm doing. It's not overly complicated at all. So where I'm set up is pretty easy to find. So there's a choke point where this tunnel is behind me. And there's some grass. Well, a lot of grass. So here's the bait I'm using. It's a panko breadcrumbs, corn, and strawberry jello mix. These are called hair rigs, and essentially it's a leader with a hook and a little bait uh, holder at the top. And you stick the corn on there instead of the actual hook and it just provides a better hookup ratio also helps you not hook turtles apparently Ooh, that was a little sketch Oh, uh, finally we got a bite. It doesn't feel huge. It doesn't, doesn't feel too big. It's a carp though, I can see it. They got a chaser. No, don't go in the tunnel. That's not what I want. Oh, that took a while. That took a while. It's not huge. Oh! I'm count as a half fish, but <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. There's so much fun. He's on. Yeah. Do you want it? Take it. I didn't want to go in the water again. Yeah, it's another small one. Here she is. Long fish. Not too tall. It's a solid one though. Little fish. Let's go. Oh, that's fun. Put her there. <laughs> Jay's gone and I'm on.
Oh. Quite a turn of events. We've been kind of fishing for a long time and you won't see much of it. But in the last 15 20 minutes or so, we've hooked into what three fish. Three fish, my what second landed fish, third hook. Third hook up. This is the smallest one, but he fought the hardest, honestly. Let's go. We gotta get some baits back in the water, baby. Let's go! Oh, my ball got a hole! Oh, do you see her? Yeah, this is why I like carp fishing, dude. Holy dude, holy cow. You understand car fishing now? Yeah, on this rod too. Uh, no, I can't. I'm not making this any tighter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at how big that is. Look at how big it is. Sorry. Oh my god. We've been here for a good, what is this, three minutes now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Go oh my god. Oh my god, he's going again. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jay, I, I, you gotta get her now. You gotta get her now. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That fish is huge. That's a, dude, that's the biggest carp I think I've ever seen. Where he's hooked. He's just gonna slide right out. That's why you keep pressure, that's why I go lose drag. 18, 18 pounds. Two. This is a monster fish for Justin and I. Massive, 18 pounds. There's a guy over there, I know he gets out. Nice, I think we're gonna toss him back in. You ready, Jay? I'm on, I'm on. Oh, we're hooked up. We got buzzer beater. And then the weather has gone to crap. <laughs> Broke off, dude. I'm sad. Very sad. Ah, well.
wind is making this hard. It is blowing my way, but. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Buzzer beater, like Jay said, just really riled me up. Such an interesting fish. I mean, look at the scales. This is probably the scaliest fish we'll ever catch. I think we're gonna put him back and finish off these last two rods. about to go in the tunnel, dude. What? It's about to go in the tunnel. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Dude, these little ones can move. I have heard through the internet that if you put your hands or a towel over a carp's eyes, it will relax a little bit. Carp have pretty big eyes. And when they see this giant man uh, try and stick something in the ground. Little guy. We're literally five, like we're about to leave right now. Right now. I saw this rod double over. This hasn't been touched all day, this rod. That was a good way to end the day. The little ones fight, I think, just as hard as the big ones. Pound for pound. This might be the hardest fighting fish we have. I can't believe it's a carp. I love this carp fishing stuff. <laughs> <laughs>